Hello, and welcome to this presentation where we'll look at how to generate SSH key pairs to be used to access the Linux instances in the Oracle Cloud infrastructure. For our objectives today, after viewing this video, you should be able to describe SSH private and public key pairs, describe the Linux SSH-keygen command used to create SSH key pairs, provide the public key to a new Linux compute instance in the Oracle Cloud infrastructure, and log in from a remote system to an Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Linux instance using the SSH command. For Linux instances created in the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, a secure shell or SSH key pair is used instead of passwords to authenticate remote connections to the instances. The SSH key pair consists of two keys, a public key which is added to your Linux instance and a private key which resides on the host system or machine you will use to remotely access your instances. These two keys are associated together, allowing the Linux operating system on the instance with the public key to verify the incoming connection of the system which has the private key. When you create Linux instances in the Oracle Cloud infrastructure, the public key is requested and uploaded to the new instances during their building phase. This is done using the configuration dialogs available in the Oracle Cloud infrastructure user interface. The private key is kept on the machine used to remotely access the instances. To generate the public and private key pair on a Linux system, you can use the ssh-keygen command at the command prompt. And on a Microsoft Windows system, you can install and use the PuTTY key generator utility called PuttyGen. You can also generate SSH keys directly from the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure console when creating a new compute instance. In this video, we will demonstrate creating SSH key pairs with the Linux ssh-keygen command. We will also show how to generate and save SSH key pairs from the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Console. I'm logged on to an Oracle Linux system. Let's look at the SSH-keygen man page. This command is used for authentication key generation, management, and conversion. I'm going to search for the minus T option. It says here that the type of key to be generated is specified with the minus T option. If invoked without arguments, SSH-keygen will generate an RSA key. If I continue to search for minus T, we see the other possible values. I'm going to quit the man page and run the ssh-keygen command without any options to generate an RSA key pair by default. Now it asks where we want to place these keys, and it's giving us a default directory in the brackets. I'm going to specify the default directory, but since I'm logged on as the OPC user, I'll name the file OPC underscore key. The program then asks for a passphrase. The passphrase may be empty to indicate no passphrase, which is what I want, so I'll just press enter. The two keys get created here, and it says your identification has been saved in this directory we specified. The public key is created in the same directory and has the same file name as the private key, but with a .pub extension. If I run the ls-l command on this directory, we see the key pair files. Now I want to demonstrate how you need to provide the public key portion when you create a Linux compute instance in the Oracle Cloud infrastructure. I'm not going through the entire process of creating a compute instance that is covered in another video. I just want to show the add SSH keys portion of the process. As mentioned earlier in this video, you can generate SSH keys directly from the Oracle Cloud infrastructure console when creating a new compute instance. With the generate SSH keys radio button selected, I can save the private key to my local system that I'll use to access the cloud instance, and I can save the public key to my local system and then add this public key to my compute instance. Or I can select the Choose SSH Key Files radio button and then browse for the public key file. If I click the No SSH Keys radio button, I get a message that if you don't provide SSH keys, you will not be able to connect to the instance using SSH. For this demonstration, I'm going to select Paste SSH Keys radio button. Now I'll switch back to my local system where I created the SSH key pair files. I'll cat the public key and select it to copy into the clipboard. Then I can return to the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Console and paste the public key. I'll click Create to create the compute instance. After a few seconds, the instance is created. In this demonstration, the instance name is CRM-OL8, and the instance has a private IP address of 10.0.2.24. We can now switch back to our local system and log into the instance using the SSH command and providing the 
username, IP address, and private key portion of the SSH key pair. Because this is the first time accessing the instance using SSH, I need to answer yes. And we're now logged into our Linux compute instance. I can run a couple commands to verify. I'll run hostname, and we see that the name is crm-ol8, and I'll run the IPA command to view the 10.0.2.24 private address. Oracle provides an extensive number of resources which you can use to learn more about this subject than others. See the Oracle Linux Learning Library for more videos on Oracle Linux. Visit oracle.com slash go to slash Linux Cloud Learning for more videos on Linux on the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. For more information or to get started on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, go to cloud.oracle.com and visit the education.oracle.com links for comprehensive Oracle Linux curriculum to support a full range of Linux administration skills for cloud, on-premise, and hybrid users. This concludes this presentation. Thank you for watching.